In case someone hasn't told you lately, chances are you're not going to succeed in your field of career. As a matter of fact, even I won't. But okay, what's the definition of success for you also matters. If you consider having an average lifestyle like 9 to 5 job, having fun with family and friends over the weekend, if you consider that success, then there are high chances you will be successful at attaining that. But if your expectations exceed these, then you probably won't be able to attain it, just like me. I won't pinpoint at you because I don't even know you. So allow me to take myself as an example in this video. If you somewhat fall into the same category, well, then you know. One of the biggest reasons for me is that I'm not passionate about anything. Well, I guess. And it's ironic that people around me consider me one of those few lucky ones who were able to discover their passion at a very young age and somehow managed to able to earn from it. I'm talking about photography. People think photography is my passion. Well, for the longest time even I thought I'm passionate about it. The compliments you get for doing something is really what makes a person to keep doing that shit. That fishing for compliments turn into a habit for few people and that's what they actually misinterpret as their passion. For instance, I started doing photography very randomly and some more people loved the photos I clicked and they said, you should be a photographer. Maybe I do have the eye for a good photographer, but seeing it now, photography has always been my interest because if it was my passion, I would not be making these videos on YouTube. I would be fully indulged in the world of photography. But now, I only pick up my camera whenever I get a paid gig or some good concept to shoot in mind. I never got the age to just pick up my camera and just roam around the city and click photos or even bring along the camera to the gathering to click some beautiful portraits of my circle. I don't know, if I was really passionate about it, wouldn't I be roaming around with my camera 24 by 7? Even though I love photography, I don't even know what to specialize in. I'm good at clicking fashion portraits, I'm good at clicking products, events, architecture. Lately I've been learning food photography as well, you know, just to get more clients. But I'm damn sure that I won't be successful even though I end up being good at every genre of photography. Why you may ask? Because I'd be the jack of all and master of none. You cannot be the best if good at everything and that's a freaking fact. You have to try to be the best at one thing and leave it at that. For instance, this is Martin Scorsese. Everyone knows him. One of the best working film directors in Hollywood. Notice the words I just used to describe him. Best and film director. He's the best because he chose to give his whole life to become the best film director. He could have chosen to become a music director, advertisement director. As a matter of fact, he could have chosen to become all of those. But then, he would not be as renowned as he is now. Martin Scorsese. That's because he chose a specific field he wanted to pursue. Look at him talking about films. You can just fucking sense how damn passionate he is about this craft. I saw Citizen Kane on television for the first time. And I began to become aware of editing and camera positions um, and what I guess happened there of course is that what he did Wells was literally he was not afraid of being self-conscious with the camera and making self-reverential remarks with the camera and literally letting the audience understand yes the camera is looking through the floor up into the ceiling you know Wells did this and it had, he did it with such conviction and with such brilliance that you began to realize, ah, I see the camera moves. And I began noticing camera movement because he used that wide-angle lens a great deal. And if you use a wider-angle lens and you move quick enough, you see the walls speeding past you, you know? And that's passion. What we have time to time is not passion. That is our interest. Even Bruce Lee once said, I'm not afraid of a person who knows 10,000 kicks, but I'm afraid of a person who knows one kick but practices it for 10,000 times. Look at the videos I've posted on my channel. Vlogs, short films, film related videos, cell discovery videos. I'm pretty sure you cannot tell what exactly I'm passionate about by just going through my channel. But one thing about me is that I'm fucking creative. Nobody can take that away from me and tell me otherwise. You can give me a topic and I will write a script in just within few hours, just like I did for this video or in fact every video of mine. I'll have the whole idea developed for the execution in no time. But it is hard to stay creative all the time. I don't have a circle of creatives. You know, tech YouTubers hang out with other tech YouTubers, bloggers with bloggers, portrait photographers with other portrait photographers, and they motivate each other or inspire each other. Since I've been switching my fields from portrait photographer to a fucking vlogger, to a film related YouTuber, then a product photographer, I was never able to establish my presence in a specific community which disabled me to make any creative friends. So I always tend to fall into those non-creative period and it's harder to get back on track because I don't have anyone to just look up to as a healthy competition. It's just me. You can call it either procrastination or creative block. So Aditya, what about the career now? What are you going to do now? Well, it's still very uncertain for me. 
I love photography. I would love to have a career as a photographer. But what I love more than that is my creative freedom as a creative individual. And that is not possible with photography because majority of the decisions are in the hands of client. That's why I do YouTube. I love the creative freedom. And I swear to God, if tomorrow by any chance I get thousand subs and four hundred watch hours to make my channel eligible for monetization, I'm ready to drop everything else and just be fucking consistent with my videos. Because let me tell you one thing. The day we become consistent at one thing, it's much smoother journey. Oh, and also the people who don't know what they're passionate about, don't worry about it. Just choose something you love doing or you're good at and be consistent with it and you will eventually find success in that field. I mean, look at Charlie D'Amelio. Do you really think she's passionate about making TikToks? Hell no. But she probably posts around 5 TikToks every day. Wait, how many followers does she have? What the fuck?